Hello everyone. Our today's topic is movement. We will be learning about what movement is and how things move from one place or position to another. There are so many things that move such as humans animals birds clouds all kinds of vehicles fans etc even the planets in the universe move including the earth they revolve around the sun Imagine you are at home. You are writing your homework. Your hand is moving and your hand is not only moving itself but also moving the pencil it is holding. The fan in your room is moving in circle. The curtains on your window are swaying with wind your pet cat walks up to you from the door all these things are undergoing different types of movement what is movement the change in the position of an object with time is called movement position means the place where an object is in other words when an object goes from one position or place to another we say it is moving for example when a car starts from point a and with time it reaches point b We say the car is moving. If an object stays in a place in the same position over time, we say it is still or stationary, which is the opposite of moving. In this picture, which objects do you think are undergoing movement and which ones are still force everything needs some kind of force to move or change position your car will be completely stationary when parked in your garage but it moves when its engine starts forcing it to move and takes you to places there are two types of forces push and pull when we force something to move forward or away from us it means we are pushing it for example we push a bucket of toys under the table to keep them safe and when we force something to move backwards or towards us it means we are pulling it For example, we pull the bucket of toys from under the table to get some toys from it. You may have noticed that when you visit a shop, the door of the shop often says pull on one side and push 
on the other side when you are standing on the side where it says push you have to force it forward away from you and if you are standing on the side where it says pull you have to force it backwards towards yourself we hope now you have learned about movement if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher